Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. <laughs> Reseller. <laughs> I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my Watts Sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which would be February, February 13th through the 16th. Still slow, but that's okay. It's okay. We're working towards fourth quarter, right? Working towards fourth quarter, but you know... I'm grateful for all the sales that I get. So, you know, that's that's the best you can do. You know, keep listing, keep cross-listing. I do have sales on all of the platforms this time. So, you know, I'm just keep plodding along. The one thing that I have started doing is I'll, I have a lot of inventory and I have a lot of old inventory. So I'm being a little bit more aggressive with my offers to watchers because at least if they've looked at it, you know, there may, there, hopefully there's some interest. Sometimes it's other resellers looking at your stuff to try to get price points and stuff like that. But I'm starting to send out larger offers and I'm hoping that's going to start moving some of my older stuff. You know, I always have a sale going. Um, and then I send out offers and I'm just, I'm going to start bumping the price up, especially for some of the older stuff, because frankly, you know, I make a lot of profit because I have such a low um, cost of goods for most of the items. I pick up my stuff for yard sales, estate sales, and then we do these sourcing trips where it's pay by the pound. So, you know, I, I can be a little bit more aggressive in my offers. So that's that's the newest the newest strategy when times are slow. So, but yeah, let me go ahead. All right. One sale on Mercari to share. This is Sesame Street Elmo Nylon Plush. Um, it sold for $10. There's a whole series of these, I think. I'm thinking I have seen Blue's Clues and somebody else. That's these nylon, not puff -a lump plush that can be played with in the bath. So just keep your eyes out for them, especially the Blue's Clues and Elmo. This was a good sell on Poshmark. This is a Moulin Rody Rabbit Plush. I don't find that brand very much, but almost always it's definitely a bolo. This Lovey Rabbit sold for $25. I picked up not a lot, but quite a few of these unpainted ceramic figures at an estate sale. I wanna say I paid like a dollar or less for them. Um, I have just a few left. This was a Halloween pumpkin mice Thanksgiving type theme. Um, it sold for $13 on Poshmark. I, I love their, their shipping because a lot of my heavier stuff over a pound um, sells really well over there because the shipping is so much more reasonable. Garanimals selling lovies over there quite often. This elephant um, sold for $13. Squishmallows. This one was one of the hug me's. There are some hug me's that do really well. This one was just kind of normal. Bread and butter sold for $12. And then another lovey on Poshmark. This one's brand was True Blue. I pick up all lovies. Most are my bread and butter, but ones like this, you know, do better. It was $18. Two Etsy sales. I just showed in our um, on the road video that we just released that I just picked up a large 24 inch nipper and then a smaller chipper. This is the smaller nipper from 1980, Dakin brand, sold for $14.95 on Etsy. And then this Nanco M&M plush sold for $14.95. Now eBay. A lot of bread and butter, y'all, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Dolphin Porpoise um, plush from BJ Toy Company. It's 14 inches, sold for $9.15. I've had this listed forever, forever. It's Knickerbocker brand, um, Mickey Mouse plush, 12 inch, um, sold for $9.15.
Paramount Carowinds Advertising Plush. This one was by Fiesta. This was an international sale. It sold for $23. I'm loving this new eBay program. I've been in it since November. It's the eBay International Shipping. All you do is ship your stuff to Illinois. I have not had, and I've, I almost sell something probably daily that I ship something there. I've not had one single issue yet. So opt in if you get the chance. Everybody's gonna be in it eventually if you're gonna plan on shipping international. Popples, this is a newer one from 2015 by Spinmaster. They, they're bread and butter. They don't sell for a whole lot. Um, this one sold for $9.15. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much. Sherry bought this B International Vintage Bear Lot for $25, and then also these, those microwavable, I don't know if I spelled that right, um, monkey and this um, Robert Rakes bear. Those are very interesting. Unfortunately, they are very long tail, um, but they've got the wooden face and the hands. Um, both of these sold for $21. This is another viewer sale, so thank you again, Laura. Um, Laura bought this because she said her son just loves um, penguins and she wanted to support my channel. So she picked up this Bun Bun Penguin Plush by Bridge Direct. And then she was watching my video the same day and realized there was a plush on there that she wanted. And so she bought this. It was a Russ Gray Kitten. It sold for $9.95. Now this is Fiesta. It's an opossum seven inch plush. For the most part, if you're going to say a plush is a specific side, make sure that you have a picture showing how you measured this because obviously this plush is longer than seven inches, but a lot of times I measure their height. So I always make sure that I have a picture of where I got that measurement from. This plush I had to wash a couple of times it still ended up having some discoloration on the tail and the feet so um, it hadn't been listed very long I got a $10 offer and I went ahead and accepted it Boyd's Bear this is an excellent sell for most Boyd's Bears this was Bree the White Mouse she sold for $17.43 again most of them are very long tail Levi's been selling clothes. Um, these are 541 men's jeans, sold for $18.11. How to Train Your Dragon. This is the Cloud Jumper. I picked this up at that estate sale. Um, picked up a whole bunch of vintage figures. I picked up two How to Train Your Dragons. I want to say they were like six or eight dollars. And then I picked up two more that were like two or three dollars. I think this was one of the ones that was like two or three dollars. This one sold for eighteen dollars and thirty-five cents. Pretty quick sell. Walmart Lovey. Um, this one did have its original tag on it. I still do not list these as new. As you can see in the condition, I have it as used. And then in my notes, I say, you know, usually I say appears unused or unused. Um, but it sold for fifteen dollars. Make sure also, um, when you have lovies that have the knotted corners like this one does, um, that you use that keyword in your titles. Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. I'm getting kind of low on that. I'm hoping during this season of yard sales that I find some more um, dollhouse stuff. But somewhere in all of these bags of the Goodwill Bin stuff from St. Louis, I have a ton of dollhouse stuff. So I got to get that stuff worked on. I am plowing through it, y'all. Dakin, this is Toby, the Cocker Spaniel, plush, 12 inch. He sold for $17. Dakin Garfield, plush. I pick up most of them. Most of them are bread and butter. Also, um, Odie, and then the pink cat. I forget her name, but this one was just a five inch plush, sold for $13.75. Winnie the Pooh. Love Winnie the Pooh. 
This one was an 18 inch plush. Kind of had the little fleece vest. Kind of the rough, almost Sherpa-like fabric. It sold for $18.35. Kelly Toy. This was one of the larger 18 inch plush from 2018. It sold for $20.19. Great American Fun. A lot of times on the tag it'll say G-A-F. Sometimes I think those might be from, um, like, the claw machines and stuff, but I'm not sure. This one was older, 1992. It sold for $12. Now, this was some a buyer that purchased two of the Husky Dogs I had listed. Um, he paid $30 for the two of them. One of, one of them was by Arctic Circle. The other one was Wholesale Merchandisers, Inc., Chuck Taylor, I think Robert picked these up somewhere. I can't remember. Probably paid a couple dollars for them. They sold for $25. Unfortunately, this is the second time I've sold them. The first time somebody re returned them for um, doesn't fit. Um, but they sold pretty quickly again. Tupperware stencils. Usually these come in like a hard case. If you can find the hard case, they tend to do a lot better. Um, these were just, I probably picked them up at the bins, you know, pulled a whole bunch of them out at the same time, took an offer of $14. Wish Pets. I like that brand. Um, for the most part, though, it is bread and butter for me. Um, this one was just a 15-inch panda bear. I think her name is Shanda. Most of them have a name and the date on the tag. This one sold for $11. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the Goodwill bins for one of Bolo Buddy's um, bins challenges. This was a Salvatore Ferragamo Genie in a Bottle Silk Tie. It's been listed a while and then out of the blue sells $26.63. Gaffa, it's one of those brands. It's kind of not the greatest quality, I personally think. But this one was cute, so it gets bought for the cute, cuteness factor more than anything. It was a 19-inch giraffe, sold for $10 best offer. This is Buster from the Arthur, Arthur cartoon series. Um, again, a lot of times it's the other characters, not the main characters, that tend to do better. He was 16 inches, sold for $20. This brand is dog. Every time I find it, it sells very quickly. The brand is Raffler. Um, just a cute little scrunched up dog. I always say Wrinkles, Sharpay. It sold for $13.75. Walmart, um, Valentine's Dog Plush sold for $9.15. I had quite a few sales that were like $7, $8, $9. And you know what? It all adds up. Aurora Yoohoo Lemur Plush. These are supposed to make sounds. This one did. Um, don't know if I had a video of it. Nope. This was an older listing. Um, when you squeeze their bellies, a lot of times they make like whistling sounds. Um, this one sold for $11.91. Make sure when you ship that, that you ship it in a box because you don't want a whole bunch of stuff on it activating that sound box and then possibly having a dead battery by the time it gets to its destination. My hair's in my face, y'all. Wild Republic Penguin Plush. It had um, Port Lockroy Antarctica. I thought that made it different. Um, sold for $11.91. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Heather. Heather bought this. Um, for her son's girlfriend, and Robert had the coupon code in the description wrong, and so she sent me a message about that. We did fix it, so anytime you go into my store, um, I do have a coupon for my viewers. It is Rebel Reseller 20. Um, you get 20% off um, the item. 
Unfortunately, it does not work with offers. It does work my, with my sale. So anytime you just go in my store, if you want to purchase something, use that code and you'll get an extra 20% off plus my sale price. Oh, this, this was a Squishmallows Maddox Gnome plush. It was a Claire's exclusive. This is one of the ones that I picked up at a yard sale. I want to say I picked up nine plush for $50 and I think I'm almost through all of them. This is a Briar Clydesdale horse figure, seven and a half inches. I pick up all Briars. A lot of them are just typical prices. If you ever find the Briars um, Spirit, those do really, really well. Um, but this one sold for $13.06. Tinkerbell plush 12 inch pretty sure this came in the large lot that I bought from Kim. Um, I bought, I want to say over 1200 plush from her and I'm almost done. I, I thought I was really almost done and then I realized I had some bags that were stored next to a shelf. So I've still got, I want to say five or six or seven more bags to go through, but Tinkerbell sold for $11.91. Ty, Ty plush. This is one of the larger, I want to say they're like buddies or something like that. Um, this is Bongo, 14 inch from 1998. Did not have his paper ear tag. Still sold for $9.15 and he sold pretty quickly. Bread and butter sells, but this was my best sell for the week on eBay. This probably picked up at an estate sale, couple of dollars. This is an Easter Jubilee tree figure, 11 inches. It was originally Kmart, made of resin. Here was the top, but just kind of a tree house with rabbits all over it. It's almost Easter. This sold for $36.75, so not bad. All right, I'm gonna be making back-to-back -back videos today. Robert and RJ are going off on a camping thing this weekend probably in the rain, possibly in the cold, but they enjoy that kind of stuff. Not me. I will be home comfortable in my warm house. Time to get to work, y'all. Bye.